Hello friends and welcome. Ringmaster came out last night. I am currently five and one with him. I think he's a pretty good support. I'm not going to claim to have the perfect build. We're going to do that in a future video once he has his agonims and the facets are out and he's been buffed, nerfed, the, the balancing, all of that has happened. We'll do a more in-depth guide at that time. What we're going to do today is just a quick overview of what I think is going to be a good way to play Ringmaster support, position four or five. And then I have cut together some highlights from my games I played on Twitch. Uh, which if you want to follow live, boom, if you prefer VODs, that's more convenient, boom, in the description, uh, if you want to see the full gameplay there, but I will just cut together the fun moments, the overpowered moments of Ringmaster, so you can see some examples of how you might want to play the hero, or just live vicariously and be like, ah, that was cool, now I don't have to deal with the toxicity of ranked games myself, there you go. Ringmaster is a pretty strong support with powerful abilities that are a little bit hard to land, so if your lane partner or your teammates in general can have some kind of crowd control, stuns, roots, slows, all that makes it easier to land your abilities, which will do a lot of damage, but they slow, they fear, taunt, there's more chain stun so that you can continue to get the kill on whoever you've hit. Uh, so that is my preferred team lineup. Of course, you don't have a ton of control over that, but I do generally want to fight a lot. I buy the smoke and the blood grenades at the start, push my team for first blood, because every time you get a kill in your vicinity, you get a dark souvenir. It's your innate ability. It's random. There's three, but they all give you some kind of useful buff. So if you can get a first blood, that's already good, but now I have a level one spell, and then like an extra heal, extra mobility slow, what's the last one, an illusion to block camps, go to runes, things like that. So it's just an extra benefit that you'll have over other heroes to then get more kills, to then get more souvenirs, to then repeat that cycle. So. I have been enjoying playing an aggressive style. You can see a lot of team fighting items, auras. I want everyone to have mana, you know, buff people up, glimmer, uh, if not like some auras, other setup items. I haven't gotten to test all of these a ton, obviously, but it has been working so far. I just go to the lane with the early stick to pick up charges. If you want to swap it out with other stuff, I think that could be okay. Uh, but I like to pick up some early mana stuff because the spells are powerful, but by using them a lot, you do run out of mana over time. Uh, so I've been enjoying picking these up early, go straight for the Arcanes, and then from there, Solar is a good default. Glimmer combos really well with Escape Act, which uh, this gives magic resistance, you give a barrier with a Glimmer, and it's invis, so it's just like the ultimate combo of saving a hero. Uh, and so you just play this backline guy, you let your team go in, and you throw in a bunch of extra damage and crowd control. You can scout with Impalement Arts because it's such a long range ability and it's got some charges to it. And then if anyone is in trouble, including yourself, you can use Escape Act to save them. Talent wise, I think both of these are good. If you're focusing on a more save play style, then 200 cast range is great. Uh, but if you can farm up a little bit more, you're looking to do a bit more damage, help yourself land the full channel, tame the beast, then the extra radius helps a lot. From here, I keep going on the left side because I they just seem better to me, but then I, I haven't gone to 25. I think I only got to 20 once, so I can't really speak to it, but usually strong dispels are amazing in this game, and I... I mean, these sound good, but I just don't think they're like that important. So I'm doing mostly left talent and then either one on the level 10. I'm currently maxing Tame the Beast first because it goes up to 480 max damage every 10 seconds. Pretty good for early fighting, but also farming for jungle camps or pushing waves. It's got a good cast range, so you can do it from behind trees to surprise enemies or to push waves out of sight. So I really like maxing it first. I think in the future there will be builds, depending on how the skills are balanced, that I could see Impalement Arts like 112 or maybe even maxing at first could potentially be good, but it's based on max HP for damage and that typically just doesn't scale as well in the early game because there's just not a lot of total health because everyone's so low level, no items. So I think Tame the Beast right now is good. We'll worry more about specific builds down the line once they finish balancing this hero. If you want access to this guide, it will be linked in the description. And besides that, please enjoy the uh, the clips. I haven't really done a video like this, so let me know. And if you have any cool Ringmaster tips, please share them in the comments down below. Thanks, guys. You have to be ready to lock in Ringmaster. Oh shit, guys, I don't remember where the lock-in exactly is. I think it's like right around here. Damn it! I didn't know we were gonna jump straight in. I forgot. I forgot like an idiot. Shit, I was too slow. I should have put it over here. Oh, maybe he won't. Please disconnect, disconnect. Disconnect, disconnect, disconnect. Please. 
Oh, yeah, we got one more try. Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's make sure it's in the right spot. Let's make a new draft screen. All right, we got this. We got this. When a hero comes out, it's whoever locks in first. There's no double pick. And I aim to be the fastest. All right, everyone shut up. Oh, shit, we're on the wrong draft screen. We don't have the giant-sized one. Yes! <laughs> we did it. We have to walk away from Storm in case he zips at us. But he currently looks like he's going for Ember. Did not hit him. I totally whiffed that, guys. I could have killed the storm. Good thing I remembered my W exists. I almost forgot about it. That is fine. I think I'm about to die, guys. Oh, he's on this. I don't have a voice line, shit! <laughs> His Q damage is ridiculous, guys. Was crazy. <laughs> what was that, guys? What was that? Okay, shut up, everybody. <laughs> it was worth it. Okay, it wasn't worth it. He has death toll. Um, I don't want to use my strongman. <laughs> it's over. Unironically, guys, that might be it. <laughs> Visage is in a ridiculous state right now. If you actually get kills like that. And that was, I think, three soul assumptions. I'm trying to bait this strongman shit. I wonder if I can like snipe a salve when I feel like she should be getting a salve, right? Oh, misclick. What am I doing walking in sour? Kill on that. 
I'm gonna go for the six minute room. Uh, actually, maybe I'll bully her. Just kidding. Oh, never mind, not kidding. I'm gonna check this ward. I have a large burst here too. some tower damage. Did they even kill the Viper? Uh, I think. Three damage, I guess. Oh, my courier. Oh, shit. It was like flying all over the place. I'm sorry, courier. I did that to you. That's on me. Should I just get a solar crest for the LC and the Ursa? I'm so garbage. No! I was so slow in pressing this, guys. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I messed that up. I should have thrown the ult right away. It's such a long range item. I was thinking about the other stuff. Too fast. I'm trying to make him miss that CS. Illusion for extra damage, guys. I really want this wisdom rune. I don't want to have to go. Holy shit. We can take this tower, we can then smoke. No, I'm so stupid, guys. Why wasn't I pressing that faster? Uh, I'm not in the habit of having to use it is really what it is. We have to build that habit. Proc damage was gonna get her or not.
Didn't he put a sentry there to block that camp? Oh shit, what am I doing positioning wise? This is awful. I could have done that better, I'm sure. Oh, where did he come from? I don't even know. I'm 9, 3, and 10, guys. We're on the wrong screen, guys! I could have been so much faster than that guy. Ah, oh, shit. All right, we'll play Omni. Oh, uh, it's because we switched over to talk about stuff. I forgot. I forgot. I don't even want to play. God. Uh, no, it's fine. We wanted to play. We wanted to try out Omni anyway, so I'm still sad, but what can you do? We'll get to see someone else's take on the new hero. That can be learning as well. Your ideas are not always the best. Let's see what he's got. I'll be judging. Easy. Look at that damage. Tell me that's balanced. I missed. Wrong man. I fear in one second. Just come around, run, run. I think my ult placement could have been a little better. But we won the fight. We'll take it. we go bottom, see if we find a kill, and then maybe do Roche. Get in there, Slarky. Four observers, let's go. Ah, I could have done that better, guys. I didn't even use my Lotus in that fight. <laughs> I should have left sooner. I 
saved myself for a moment. Could have tonicked and then kept running. My team's winning the fight though, so it's fine. Save myself. Nope. That sound effect is so funny. tips thank you for watching guys we don't usually do highlights of games and streams on this channel so let me know what you thought of it if you'd like it for other things i mean not just for new heroes because that's going to be like a once a year thing but if you just thought it was cool in general then maybe i can do more videos like that uh, but otherwise uh, again reminder if you want to see the full games then you can either come by on twitch where it'll happen live or if you prefer it's more convenient the vod channel on youtube is linked down below and you can watch at your own convenience Thank you guys. I'll see you in one of those other places.